I'm here to help you, Kiel. Yeah, I'm here to help you, Kiel. Yeah. You finished that. You finished that. I hope your wife died. I hope your mama died. I hope everybody died in your family. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm it was just before 6 p.m. on March 19, 2022, when 911 dispatchers received a call reporting a vehicle stuck in a ditch off White and Parker and Honeycutt Roads in Maricopa, Arizona. What's up, guys? What's going on? Just swerved out the road. Huh? Swerved out the road. Who did? Me. You were driving? All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to need you to come out of the vehicle and talk with me then. So you weren't driving? You were in the passenger seat, obviously. No. You see where so, I'm at? I see where you're at now, man. As the officer begins speaking with the alleged passenger, it's apparent he's becoming increasingly worried that there may be something seriously wrong. All right. So tell me what happened. Uh, my tire. Do you need to rest on the vehicle? The rest. Do you need to rest on the vehicle? Okay. How much have you had to drink today? Not that much, but my, my car been f- up, like, it just been breaking down, like, it just, it don't, I don't know, like, if it's just what's going on, but, like, everything is just, it's just been coming to a, 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 like, a crash, like, everything has just been coming to a crash. Okay. So you're coming from this way, right here. All right. What's the matter? What's going on? All right, let's walk back here. Let's walk this way. We'll talk up by my car. Come on. What? What? Why are you back here just staring at me, man? I'm trying to make sure she cool. How would she not be cool? Is she crying? Yeah, because she knows she messed up. That's why. This is what we're going to do. We're going to walk back here, okay? We have to. We have to get out of this dirt and stuff. Okay, what's going on? You need to be honest with me, okay? I can tell you're intoxicated. I can smell it. Come on, let's walk up here. Let's get off this dirt, okay? Hold my hand. The officer escorts the woman to his car and talks to the witness that called in the accident. He provides the officer with more details that support the idea that she was actually the one behind the wheel. You saw her in the driver's seat? her when it went mm-hmm. up, the first thing she said to me was, where did he go? And I said, who? She said, the guy. I said, what guy? She goes, the one that was driving. Mm-hmm. We sat here for about uh, five minutes. I talked to her out of her key. Okay. She was trying to take she off. She was and in I, the driver's seat? Yeah, she was okay. trying to take off. Right. And I told her, hey, something's wrong with the car. Let me see your key. She gives me the key. I took the key out the keychain, gave it back. About five minutes go by. I'm talking to a lady. I didn't want to Just, stay by the vehicle. Okay. And he came back from over in the neighborhood, then jumped in. With the witness's assertion that the woman was driving, the officers prepared to arrest her for driving under the influence. You want me to process her? Are you good? Sure. Okay. I'd like to do an eval. Probably best. Yeah. I had to pee. I'll go back. We'll, we'll let you pee back at the station. No, I... I'll take her right here, dude. That's all right. Oh, okay. no, yeah, don't worry about I that. I don't want to pee on myself in we, the car. Y'all finna take forever. That's I the station right there. I'm pointing I, at it. I'm not trying to be real anything, but sorry to... T- there's no I am... Over. I have to pee. Let me pee. Man, like, there's no place out here. I got to take you to the station to pee. Let me pee right there. No. I swear, no, I don't want to pee on myself. Let's go. We, I don't want to pee We can't let you pee right myself. here. I we'll get you. Not. No place. I don't want to pee on myself. Get in the car. Get in, we'll take you back. Ma'am, you'll I'm be take, at the I'll station. Take you to the toilet. Ma'am, sit down, please. One minute, we'll be there. The belligerent woman is placed in the car, and it seems like the bathroom crisis is averted until officers let her know that her boyfriend cannot come with her to the station. I said he can go to the police station when we're done. As soon as they're done. I need to know. Okay. He'll be there when they're done. Don't you think it's funny? What? You think it's funny? Do I think what's funny? You said he got the police station when we're done. Okay, I need I'll explain him. it one okay, more time. We're finna, okay, we're he finna can go. go. We're finna go to the police station. I need my boyfriend. Okay. Excuse me. What is your name? I need my boyfriend. Okay. You'll just get more charges. I need my you want boyfriend. more charges? Why? What do you mean why? Because you need to identify yourself. Okay. 
is so it? So tell me your what, name. What law is that tied you to identify myself? Oh my. What law is that? Okay. What law? Because I got stuck in the middle Arizona of the road. And my, and my car is not working. Okay. What law is that? What law is that? It seems the woman isn't aware that Arizona is a stop and ID state. This means that an officer who has reason to believe an individual is involved in a criminal act can request that the person identify themselves, and they must comply. Those who refuse can be charged with a Class II misdemeanor, which comes with a penalty of up to four months in jail and two years of probation. The officers, likely tired of arguing with the woman, get her into the vehicle and close the door. As she begins to make a scene from inside the vehicle, the officers are graced with the arrival of the woman's mother. Can I talk to Is this her? your daughter? Yes. Okay. So, I'll put, I will put the window down if you believe you can get her to calm down for me. Hey, your mom wants to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to you. Oh my God. Can, I, can I take that car? Mom. That's my car. So, we don't need to tell it, but I don't think you can get out of there. It's too soft. Oh. So, I mean. Do I have to get a tow truck? To come we can, we can help okay, with all that. Go. Mom, okay. my God, yeah. that's so. And this is easy. You're being wrong. You're wrong. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean. You just dropped. The police are now aware of the young woman's identity. She's 19-year-old Keo Thomas. Her mother, completely over the interaction, tells police exactly how she feels. Can you guys take her to jail? Um, <laughs> well, yeah. To give her a, a you know, a wake-up call like she just... Well, we'll, we'll see if she earns a trip to Florence or not, but uh, generally we process DUIs and then release them. But she's looking at other charges at the moment if she keeps this up, so... Okay. After struggling to remove her from the police vehicle, Keo's angry ranting continues to escalate in intensity. <laughs> The officers decide to temporarily leave Keo alone in the cell while gathering restraints to keep her from harming herself and the officers. So, she claims she's going to pass out on the way over. She's ready to pass out. And then we get here, she's fighting us. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to look at her, but that's why I call her, because on the way over there, she's screaming in the back that she's about to pass out. Yeah. Sounds like she's about to pass out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good one flow. Let's see if she's willing to talk to you guys. Paper, scissors, She's kicking too, so be careful. Do you still feel like passing out? Hold on! Do you still feel like passing out? Hold on! That's why I will watch. When you die, you want to help. Keo isn't planning to accept their help, so officers and medical workers leave the room and give the woman time to calm down. After approximately 10 minutes, officers and firefighters re-enter the cell and, once again, attempt to examine Keo. <laughs> Okay. Good little poke, okay? Don't poke me. 
Oh, we're just gonna check your sugar. Don't talk to me. We're just checking Get your sugar. Get off of me! We're just checking your sugar. Get off of me. Ma'am, relax. Get off of me, because if I get off these girls, it'll be too. Well, you're not, so me. just chill out. Get The officers leave Keo alone in her cell once again and determine that she, who has now attempted to assault officers and is refusing to consent to a blood alcohol test, must be transferred to the Florence Correctional Center. Before they head out, a female officer enters Keo's holding cell to help escort her to the restroom. It's important to note that Keo has only been alone in her cell for roughly 19 minutes at this point. Though Keo up to this point has consistently stated that the reason she won't comply is that she needs to use the restroom, the trip there doesn't seem to remedy the situation. Officers return her to her holding cell and decide to continue with their original plan of restraining Keo to a holding chair. Only a few hours after Keo allegedly ran her car into a ditch, she was officially booked into the Florence County Correctional Facility. On May 6th of 2022, she pleaded guilty to attempted aggravated assault on an officer in exchange for her other charges being dismissed. As a result, she received 18 months of supervised probation. But the wake-up call her mother cited didn't seem to have the desired effect on Keo. She was arrested once again in December of 2022 on suspicion of aggravated DUI with a suspended license and driving under the influence while driving the wrong way. At the time, she had a suspended driver's license and an outstanding warrant for extreme DUI issued by Maricopa Municipal Court. 
In June of 2023, Kia was officially sentenced to four months in prison for the charge of aggravated DUI from the December of 2022 incident. She's set to be released in October of 2023.